Vice President Harris did not make clear whether she supports any restrictions on abortion. Currently, nine states and the District of Columbia have no gestational ban on abortions. Her comments about the military. She said during the debate this about the U.S. military. Let's listen. As of today, there is not one member of the United States military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world the first time this century. Our fact checkers found that to be false, and I have a lot of experience in that area as well. There are currently 900 U.S. military personnel in Syria, 2,500 U.S. troops in Iraq. All have been under regular threat from drones and missiles for months. We also have action in the Red Sea. We also, every single day, the Navy SEALs, Delta Forces, special operators uh, can be part of any sort of deadly raid. So why would she make that claim? Well, I think what's important here, Martha, is that Kamala Harris, in contrast to Donald Trump, demonstrated herself to be commander in chief. We are in a world where there are all sorts of conflicts, and it's all the more reason we need somebody who's serious and who supports the military. And just remember, but Governor, uh, but Governor, excuse me, but she said she, there is not one member of the United States military who is an active duty in a combat zone. That is not true. You say she demonstrated her ability to be commander in chief, but did she not know about these people in Syria and Iraq? Why would she say that? Look, that was a comment. That was a comment in a debate. I think the point that she was trying to make was a broader point. And of course, we have military in place all around this country. That's important. We're the United States of America. And Kamala Harris, remember, is the person who stands with NATO, who supports our allies, who's working to bring countries together. Donald Trump stands with Vladimir Putin. So, you know, I think that's what's really important. Kamala Harris, she respects our military. She respects our service members. Donald Trump calls them suckers and losers. And it's why Donald Trump's former military generals support Kamala Harris. They say that Donald Trump shouldn't be anywhere near the Oval Office. And I think those are the points, Martha, that people need to understand. We live in a world of very serious times with serious consequences. And the actions of the next commander in chief matter. Kamala Harris will be that commander in chief and lead us forward in freedom, working with and others. Governor, Governor, I want to hit another. I, I want to stick.